Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this is my first tutorial of 2021 and I thought I'd start with something very easy and quick to do. So I actually saw something similar on Pinterest and it was by the Craft Spa, but I have seen other versions of this as well. So there's lots of other inspirations out there if you do have a look. But this, I'm gonna call it an envelope card or an all-in-one card, something like that. Because you open the fastening and you have this, but then you can close this and it becomes a gatefold card and that's how you display it. You could also have the back area if you want to write your message there, but the idea is, is that you'd write your message under these two triangular parts so you can't see it when it's displayed. But you could stamp and have other decorative things here as well, but I just thought it's really, really nice and very, very easy to do. This is a six by six size, but you could also change this to suit other card sizes that you like. So let me show you how I've made it. So the paper pad I'm using is this one here, it's Lipstick Basics. I picked this up from the range and I think it was part of that. I shared in one of my What Did I Get videos, I think I paid $2.99 for it, but I got it not too long before I started my Christmas projects. So it's kind of just been sitting there and I think I used it for one project. So it's been really nice to get all those newer papers out and start to use them. So this is the one I'm using. I will try and link it in the description box, but I'm sure there's some Amazon sellers that might have this as well. I've got everything ready to go here, so you want a piece of 12 by 12, but like I said, you can easily adapt this and shrink it down. So um, if you don't have 12 by 12, you will be able to make this with smaller cardstock. But this is a piece of 12 by 12, black cardstock, and I'm going to be scoring at 3 and 9, and then rotate, and you want to score at 3 and 9 again. You want to put a little marker at 6, and then just flip it and do another little marker at six. That's just a guide for you. That's all the scoring done. Next, you want to fold and burnish those score lines. Okay, and then where you've got the notches, you might want to draw a pencil line first. I'm just gonna cut straight away, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But basically, from that notch, which is just there, I'm gonna cut down nice and neatly, because this becomes that envelope part. You're gonna cut to the corner there. You can see it really well. In the, um, on this black cardstock, and then again, I'm just going to cut right across up to there. Okay, I'm then going to bring in my other scissors, and I'm now just going to snip away this section and remove all of the score line. Make sure it's nice and straight because this becomes the top of the gatefold or the bottom because you can obviously flip this around if you want to. So you just want to make sure you get a nice finish there. Again on this one. Okay and then you just want to repeat that now on this side. So again starting from that little notch. If you want you could take the squares out first. You know do whatever works best for you. I'm just going to finish this one off. Okay, so you now have something like this, and now you just want to add all your mats and layers, that's it. The card is, you know, in terms of the, the main base is done. So I've got this piece of white cardstock, which is going to go in the centre, and this is five and three quarters squared. And before I stick this down, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to have happy birthday on the front. I'm going to do the same as what I've done before on the other card, and I'm going to have enjoy your day. And this is from... My new stamp set, this is the celebration stamp set. So I've just taken the enjoy your day and then the happy birthday there. So I'm just gonna pop this one in the middle, get it all lined up there. And just pick that one up and get that one stamped. And then I'm just gonna do the same with this circle that I've already punched using my scallop uh, two inch circle punch this one is. So I'm just gonna again pop that one there. And then I've just got a slightly bigger circle to pop that on top. So it's about a two and a half diameter circle there. So that's that ready. So now I'm going to bring this one back in. I'm going to stick that one down in the middle. And then I've gone and cut all these different pieces, pattern pieces from that paper pad. So I'm going to have the polka dot on the inside. Now you'll want four of these pieces, which are two and three quarters by five and three quarters. So they're going to go there. And then this flower print is going to go on the front. And then I've got these two pieces which are three and three quarters squared and you just want to cut on the diagonal right through the middle. Like so. Now you want to think about if the person is going to display it with this piece folded down 
with the gatefold, you know, the sides open, what print is going to complement that? And I'm going to go for the red on the inside. So it's actually on the outer side of these. So when it opens up like this, it's on the outside, but when it's closed, this is what you're going to see. So that's going to be over the top. So that looks really nice together. And then when you close it, you want to make sure that it's going to work nicely with this print that you have here as well, which I think it will do. Yeah, so that's going to work fine. There's all the red colours together. Just bring that down. In fact, I need to trim a bit off of that. I'll do that in a second. But now you can see how my pattern's going to look on the front there as well. So just think about that. And then on the inside, because you're only going to see these ones really briefly, is going to be these hearts. I might even have the black, actually, because I think that's going to work. I think the hearts kind of clash a little bit there, so I might just do those ones there. I quite like that. So what I would do is, when you go to close it all, you see it kind of like just catches a little bit. Just take a little bit off. You might find it's some of the score lines still, because I can actually still see a little bit of it there. So I'm just going to take off of all of these four sides, so the top and the bottom, just a little slither, just to remove some of that bulk, so that when you close it, it doesn't buckle. And that just closes loads better, really nice. So I'm going to get everything stuck down. Okay, so that's all the mats and layers. So you can see now how it's going to look. So when it's closed, it will be like that. And then when it's open and that's closed, that's the pattern you're going to have. I think it looks really nice. I love using the black cardstock. So I've just gone and popped some foam and attached the white piece there onto the black circle. And then I'm just going to grab another foam square there and just pop it on the top part. And you want to then attach that to this top triangle, making sure it um, comes over to the other one equally. I'm putting it on foam because I'm going to be adding a Velcro dot to the other half. So if you're using a magnet, you basically just want to level it off so that you know it's it's not on a slope or anything. It's just going to work better, I think, if you have it on some foam. So I've just got one of my little Velcro dots here. These are. I think they're 10 mil. I'll link them again if I remember. They are on my Amazon store as well, so you can find everything there. But now just pop it on the other half, and then when you go to close it, it should meet on that side. As you can see now, you've got your little pocket. And you could pop something in there as well. You could pop like a little gift card or another little small flat gift, I don't know. But now I'm going to just finish it off. I've just stamped three of the little presents there using the stamp. So I'm going to have, oh, get rid of that bit there. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of each of these. And just kind of have two like so, and then this one, pop a bit of glue on each side. That's going to kind of sit just slightly raised over those two. And then I've just made this little bow, and I'm going to pop that one just on the corner there just to add a little bit of sparkle and some more dimension. Okay so here is the finished card. I love the sparkle from the ribbon there and then you just lift that up and it will reveal everything inside and then the idea is, is that person who receives it will keep it displayed like so. And if you did want to do more in here and have this as more of a feature you could pop a gift card in this section if you wanted to then I would say pop another piece of white card stock on the back and have that as the area to stamp and write your message. But I think these have turned out really well. I like that you can also put them in another envelope if you want but I will actually give these like this. This is how you know I won't have to worry about adding another envelope to them. So there you have it. So like I said nice quick and easy tutorial just to kind of ease me back in. I feel like a bit rusty doing my tutorials but hopefully you've enjoyed today's as always i'll link everything in the description box below and i'll be back very soon with more fun tutorials thanks for watching bye